Okay, this piece of equipment is a Sioux valve grinding machine. And this machine, first of all, prior to doing any work on this piece of equipment, it's always good and important to check the wheel looking for small chunks that are out of the wheel that could actually cause surface distortions on the face of the valve. And as you can see, this one has just undergone a lot of valve grinding and the stone definitely needs to be dressed now. So the first thing we need to do is move the diamond cutting bit into position so that we can set it up for resurfacing that stone. As I move it across, I need to back out my motor assembly so that I can bring the stone into an appropriate dimension so I can reface it. Okay, now that we have the apparatus set up with the diamond bit on it and we have the motor assembly in the right position close to it, what we're going to do is we're going to start the piece of equipment. And then we're going to shuttle across the stone. And now that I'm positioned correctly, I'm just going to move the motor in until I just start to make contact with the stone, which I am now. Now I'm going to move the oiling head over and supply enough oil directly to this to provide us with a nice even cut. Now I'm dialing the motor forward to dress the stone. Instead of trying to use the thumb screw, I'm using it in one thou increments to dress the stone face. As you can see, if I move this out of the way, there's still some discoloration in the stone, which means there's some high areas, low areas, and some impregnated material that's got in there from prior service work. Now, it seems like there's a lot of material being cut off, but I'm only at about four thou of movement at this particular point. One or two more passes and the stone should be appropriate for doing the service related work that I'm going to do instruction for. After the process has been done, allow the machine to stop and re-inspect the stone surface again to ensure that there's still no nicks or abrasion or any impregnated material that could cause distortions when you're going to go and cut your valve. Okay, now that the machine has stopped, I can take a look at this stone and I can see that the stone is in pretty good shape and I'm ready to start doing my valve grind. The next thing I have to do is to go to the opposite end of the piece of equipment and, ins and ensure that the end dressing stone instead of the facing stone is in appropriate condition too for starting my service procedure. Now, taking a look at the, uh, dressing, the end dressing stone here, I can see that there's still some distortions in this stone from prior service related work. Again, we have a diamond dressing tool, and what I like to do is bring it up to make sure it's not into contact at this particular point. Then we're going to go in and we're going to start our piece of equipment. Once we've started the piece of equipment, you can see that we have ample lubrication supply. It's a little bit hard to get it directed onto the end of this diamond cutting dressing bit. But well, as long as we get sufficient there that we're not going to cause too much heat at the stone face or at the diamond face, then we should be fine for service. So I'm going to bring it onto the stone. I'm just going to keep it moving until I turn in the thumb screw and start to correct or contact the stone. Once I contact the stone, I'm going to go over the entire face, again making sure I have lubrication on the diamond bit. And I'm going to end dress the stone. Again, there's no increment value on this and it's all done through experience and visual inspection of the stone. There's one small point in the middle here which is slightly darker than the rest and that's typically where a lot of the service related work is done. So I need to cut through the remaining material on the front side of it and the back side of it to give me a good dressing area. Okay, now taking a look at the stone after the piece of equipment has been shut down, you can see that from the color we have a nice consistent face for doing the service.